In this video, we're going to be comparing my more expensive rotary cutter to a significantly cheaper one I got from Amazon. Here we go. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing. And we are going to be unboxing, and I'm going to be doing sort of a first impressions and review of this uh, just called rotary cutter, 45 millimeter rotary cutter. So I've had this other one, this is a Ginger. This was about $35 at the time, I'm not sure exactly how much it is now, but it is available everywhere, Amazon, Joann's, wherever you want to get it. Use the coupon, don't use the coupon. But this thing has served me well, I love it. And uh, a few years ago I ordered all these replacement blades from Overstock, so I ordered six of them and I accidentally got, no, I ordered three, and I accidentally got 18, and they said I could keep them. So I have pretty much a, like, kind of a veritable lifetime supply of these, I don't know. But I haven't had to buy blades in years, so I'm loving this. It's great, it works well, it's very, like, weighty, easy to, you know, fit in your hand, feels good. So we're going to compare it to this cheaper, much cheaper rotary cutter that I just got from Amazon does say made in China on the front like, you know, I guess almost everything else we buy. So there's that. But the reason I got this is because it has like a curved blade, like sort of a pinky blade. And sometimes I want a pink fabric, but I have not been able to find pinking rotary blades for this one. So I thought I would just buy a whole rotary cutter since this one came with these. All right, so the cheapy one, usage and benefits features comfortable grip handle for excellent control, lock button designed to retract the blade safely when pressed. Blade is made of SKS7, razor sharp and long lasting. Blade can be assembled to either side of the cutter for both left and right hand users. It has a lifetime warranty, all purpose cutting, easy to use, and says it has a blade safety shield. Well, the good thing is this does seem to have frustration-free packaging. I thought I was going to need a pair of scissors to open these. Not the case. All right, that's pretty easy. Comes with like a thank you note. That's cool. Thank you very much for choosing my store. Jamie from Ludatech. I don't know what that means, but... All right, also it encourages you to leave them a review on Amazon. Okay, interesting. You can email them directly, good to know. All right, so let's get this out of the package. You know that frustration-free packaging really goes a long way with me because I find myself having to like really strain to like cut these plastic packages sometimes. But the real reason I bought this was obviously for the, you know, the pinking blade or the curved one. So, all right, let's see how this goes. I'm not really, does this come with instructions? Remove old blade, refer to diagram, okay. Okay, got it. Okay, so this has like a little screw here, I guess. Oh, it already has one in there. This thing does really have a safety. It's this button on the handle here. You like push it and this locks it so you can't, you know, no matter how hard I push, you know, it doesn't, this thing doesn't retract. And then if you hit the other side of the button, voila. All right, so let's try out the regular, I guess the regular blade. And then I'm gonna try to switch this to the other one and see how that goes. Actually, this could be tightened. All right, yeah, this definitely could be tightened, I guess. Here we go. I don't know. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see here. This works pretty okay. I mean, it didn't get everything in one swipe, but I'm not really pushing it very hard. It feels okay in the hand. It's obviously not as substantial as the Ginger, but, you know, it works. And this was, you know, quite a bit cheaper. This is through the salvage. It feels pretty good. All right, I'm going to try to get the curved one on since that's what I bought it for really. I thought this would be good if I'm working with fabrics. I often like to pink fabrics, but let me show you this. This is a pair of inexpensive pinking shears I got from Ikea. You know, they work, but after cutting like this for a while, like your hand really starts to get tired. So that's really why I wanted to get a rotary cutter that has the blade like this. There's like this little washer thingy on top or screw. And I guess this is how you remove it. All right, it's definitely a little bit oiled. Okay, I'm trying not to hurt myself here. All right, let's try to get the other one on. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm not really sure if I'm doing this right, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, here we go. All right, so let me, I'm gonna need to wipe my hands after this. Yeah, the instructions that came with this weren't like the greatest. Okay, I think I'm doing this okay, all right. Let's see if this works. Um, 
I mean, it seems easy enough, right? I don't know. You know, the one thing I do really like about the Ginger is that it comes with all these safety, like, s features, and this one does not have the same safety features. So again, that's why you should only be playing with this if you're an adult. I'm using this scrap piece of cotton and steel fabric. Oh, cool, okay. Well, this blade, it didn't go all the way through. I was pushing down kind of hard, too. Let's see here. All right. Eh. All right, not super impressed with this so far. It's okay. Let me get a little more. All right. Had to use quite a bit of upper body strength with this one. Clearly, I'm also not really in the ideal position for cutting fabric. So this works. You just have to put a little more, a little more back into it, I guess. So just know that. All right. Here we go. All right, that one went pretty clean. This is what the cut pieces look like, and hopefully this will cut down on fraying. Like if I'm, you know, cutting for a project, maybe this will stop it from doing that a little bit. That's what these things are supposed to do. And I will compare it to the Ginger just so you can see how each one cuts. Okay, that one obviously cuts pretty easily, and this is not even a new blade. This blade is fairly old. Let's see, let me not push down as hard. The blade definitely cuts a little easier. All right, let me put, I'm gonna do it again and not really push down very hard. All right, just know that whatever rotary cutter you're using, you do have to put some force on it in order for it to make a clean cut. So do I like this? You know, I do. It definitely fulfills the intended purpose. I like the handle okay. I think it feels fine in my hand and it's pretty lightweight. That is kind of a nice feature. There's obviously a big price difference. This one is at least double the price of this one. So if you're looking for a budget rotary cutter, this one might be the one for you. If you do wanna pay extra, this one I do really like. So I do think out of the two, this one is probably the better made. But again, this one, again, has the value. So, you know, make your own decisions. I just wanted to show you what both are like. I've had this one for at least four years. This one, obviously, I just got. But I will be using it for the curved blade and uh, I hope I can order refills. I haven't really seen any, but I guess if worst came to worst, I could just order another one of these because it was pretty cheap. Anyways, that's my review. Let me know what you think if you own either of these, and if there's another product you'd like me to take a look at, I would be happy to do so. Just leave me a comment, and if it's not super expensive, I might do it. I'm Jennifer Moore with The Sewing Report, and I will see you guys next time.